hair in. What are you having done to your hair? I'm having it colored, Donald. I, I was tired of my old color. And... Well, do you know, when I saw you downstairs getting that guck in there, I was, holy gray hair. Oh, my <laughs> God. Well, Donald, um, I see a couple of grays there. Maybe you could I'll get <laughs> go a card. and visit Annette. I'll get a card from you later. So tell us some of the things that you do in your busy, busy life. I am a NRN, and I work at the Neurobehavioral Rehabilitation Center at Parkwood Hospital. And uh, I work with people who have acquired brain injuries. But you're also a diva, or an honorary diva, are you? I am an honorary diva at the moment because I'm doing publicity for the divas for their new show, Six Women. What is it? Six Women. Oh, they're going to kill me. <laughs> That's okay, but you, you have another Six show. Six Women with Brain Death or Inquiring Minds Want to Know. I'm sure they thank you. And But you're also on the board for a show at the London One Act Festival? Uh, yes, the London One Act Festival is my baby. And why and, is it uh, so special? Uh, Meredith Duncanson and, and Brian March and uh, Dale Hurley, uh, and I started it four years ago. It's so special because it encourages new writers, new directors, new actors. Uh, we have people who, um, who started when they were in high school being a part of it, and now we're seeing that they're in university and they're entering this year. So it's really exciting to see the growth. I'll bet. Why yeah. should Londoners, why would Londoners enjoy this particular? First of all, you want to go and see it because it's really exciting to see what, what is new, what, 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 are, what are young people and what are people in London thinking about and writing about and, and wanting to create about. And because you can go one evening and see a comedy, a tragedy, something odd that can't even be named, and, uh, um, and, and you, you just, you're going to be able to be on the very cusp of what's occurring in theater. But with all your projects that you have on the go, don't you have a hard time saying no? Like, I think you have a hard time saying no. I, I have a hard time saying no, but now I'm, I'm trying more to be involved in things that I'm really passionate about. Does that have something to do with turning 40? <laughs> <laughs> I know it did with me. <laughs> lying about my age my entire uh, life oh, and you just exposed me darling. I'm sorry <laughs> I'm not really though <laughs> expose my white hair and my age I'm really unhappy so <laughs> tell us about your new you're turning over a new leaf at turning 40 um I, it's I think I don't even know it, it's 40 it's been the last couple of years anyway um just the thought about why are we here why are we here and it's it, um, Nelson Mandela said that we're not afraid of failure, we're afraid of success, we're afraid of, of what our brightness will do, you know, to other people that, that or um, the thing about wanting to live out loud. And I think that I finally understand it and I'm finally doing it and it's incredibly exciting. How do you think that you are going to make your mark in our community? I'm, I'm glad that you asked me that question because that's something that I think about a lot and I, and, and I don't necessarily think that we're here to leave one gigantic mark. It won't be like Leslie Turner on the front of whatever magazine. It'll be that I had good friends and that I shared my creativity with people and uh, it's it's the, how I live my life every day and every moment rather than my big thing. Well, that's wonderful. Good luck with your shows. Thank you for joining us. I'm sure Leslie Turner will make her mark. Thank you. Back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thanks very much, uh, Donald. You notice there are big cups there? Yes. They were filling them right behind. Oh, is that what they were doing? Yeah. Is everybody at the spa lately? What's going on? Well, I don't know, but with our running water, I now know why Donald was doing the interview with his legs crossed. <laughs> uh, we're uh, back with more daytime in just a second.